One fall morning, when the leaves on the trees were changing colors, Prince Hubert rode out of the town of Tum Tum on his beautiful white horse. Prince Hubert lives in Tum Tum, where all the lollipops are made. His father is king of Tum Tum, and his mother is queen. The lollipop dragon, who is everyone's friend, lives in a cave just a little outside Tum Tum, and that is where Prince Hubert was going. Finally, Prince Hubert came to the lollipop dragon's cave. The prince tiptoed into the cave, carrying a large colored bag that he'd brought with him from Tum Tum. Because the lollipop dragon was sleeping, he didn't hear Prince Hubert come into his cave. But what's Prince Hubert doing behind that large rock? It looks like he's changing clothes. The prince put on a mask and a costume. Now he looks just like a scary goblin. Oh no! He's not going to wake up the lollipop dragon dressed like that, is he? Oh, yes, he is. That's just what he's going to do. Slowly, Prince Hubert walked over to where the lollipop dragon was sleeping. He leaned over, put both hands on the lollipop dragon's large nose, and shouted, Lollipop dragon! Lollipop dragon! Wake up! Well... The lollipop dragon woke up all right, and was he surprised to see that a goblin woke him up. Who are you? asked the lollipop dragon. It's me, it's me, Prince Hubert, lollipop dragon. Halloween is tomorrow, and this is my Halloween costume. Prince Hubert then took off his mask and told the lollipop dragon that children get dressed up in costumes on Halloween to go out trick-or-treating. He told the lollipop dragon that Halloween is the time to pretend that you are a goblin or a, or a ghost or an animal or almost anything you want to be. Do you mean, asked the lollipop dragon, that children get dressed up like you are and go, uh, what did you say, trick or treating? Well, said Prince Hubert, not all the children dress up the same. But all the boys and girls of Tum Tum do dress up in costumes, and we all knock on doors and say, Trick or treat! Now, when we say trick or treat, all the grown-ups give us lots of candy or fruit. Now, if they don't, we're supposed to play a trick on them. But the grown-ups always give us treats, so we, we don't play tricks. Are you going to go trick or treating, Lollipop Dragon? I don't know, Prince Hubert. I've never gone trick or treating before. And I don't have a costume, said the lollipop dragon. That's no problem, lollipop dragon. Let's go down to Tum Tum so you can buy the things that you'll need to make a costume. And then tomorrow you can go trick-or-treating with us. That will be fun, Prince Hubert. Let's go. So Prince Hubert and the lollipop dragon went into Tum Tum. Prince Hubert took the lollipop dragon to Tum Tum's outdoor market, where the lollipop dragon could buy everything that he would need to make a costume. The lollipop dragon bought yards and yards of cloth, thread, sewing needles, and all sorts of surprise things for his special Halloween costume. Thank you for helping me, Prince Hubert, and thank you for inviting me to go trick-or-treating with you on Halloween, said the lollipop dragon. I can see that everyone is busy preparing for Halloween, so I better go back home and make my costume or I won't be ready. That's a good idea, said Prince Hubert. I'm going to help my father with some things in the castle. See you tomorrow night, Lollipop Dragon. When the Lollipop Dragon got back to his cave, he started to work on his costume. It was really hard for him to thread a tiny needle with his big hands. But the lollipop dragon sewed and sewed and sewed. He worked very hard making his first Halloween costume. In fact, he worked all through the night. After he was finished, the lollipop dragon went to sleep. He was tired, and he wanted to be full of pep for his first Halloween night. Early that evening, the lollipop dragon walked out of his cave to see if the trick-or-treating had started. 
And did he get a surprise? All he saw for miles and miles were goblins and animals and witches. The lollipop dragon knew that it was time for him to put on his costume. When the lollipop dragon came down the mountain to Tum Tum, all the children stopped what they were doing and just looked. They had never seen anything like it before. They all stared at the biggest in fact, the very, very biggest and strangest pumpkin in the whole world. The lollipop dragon was wearing a pumpkin costume. The lollipop dragon walked down to Tum Tum and everyone was happy to see him. No one had ever seen a pumpkin so big before, at least not until now. And so the lollipop dragon, Prince Hubert, and all the children of Tum Tum went trick-or-treating. When they would knock on a door and say, trick-or-treat, all the grown-ups would give them cookies, candy, or fruit. Grown-ups like Halloween just as much as children do because it's fun to give. And they remember how much fun they had when they were children and went trick-or-treating. The lollipop dragon and all the boys and girls in Tum Tum went from house to house trick-or-treating. When all the trick-or-treating was over until the next year, the lollipop dragon, dressed as the world's largest pumpkin, went back up the mountain with treats enough to share with everyone. The lollipop dragon thought how much fun Halloween is, how much fun it is to pretend and go trick-or-treating with all the boys and girls, and how much fun it is for the grown-ups, too.